हरि ओम वी लिव इन दी एरा ऑफ ए आई वेर टेक्नोलॉजी हैज सोल्ड ग्रेटर एंड ग्रेटर हाइट्स लाइक नेवर बिफोर शेपिंग द वे वी थिंक आवर कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट द बिहेवियर ऑफ अस नो लॉन्गर वी आर इंफ्लुएंस्ड एंड इम्पैक्टेड जस्ट बाई आर पेरेंट्स एंड टीचर्स बट इवन बाई द डिवाइस अराउंड अस येट वी फाइंड आवर सेल्स डिवाइडेड एज अ प्लैनेट conflicted as a society and sorrow ridden as a species in spite of all this development advancement and improvement around us why do we find ourselves with so much anxiety fear and sorrow a manual of self unfoldment by swami chinmayananda this book uncovers the teachings of vedanta takes us through the questions of life fundamental questions that we face in our day to day lives and also taking us into the realms of spirituality and religion now when i say these words you as a youngster or anyone would be skeptical just by listening to these terms but gurudev swami chinmayananda goes about explaining all of these concepts that are related to spirituality and religion in a very clear logical and systematic way that appeals to anyone who reads it and also takes them closer and closer to understanding themselves some questions the book deals with with respect to the outer world are what is the world what are its components what is happiness how do we experience happiness why does the world influence and impact our decision making in life and so much more also talking about relationships and how it shapes our personality while the book uncovers a lot of concepts and wisdom about outer world it also talks a lot about the inner world for example the book talks about the bmi chart which is to say that we essentially are made by faculties which consist of the body the mind and the intellect and gurudev swami chinmayanand ji goes on to explain that the body perceives objects the mind feels feelings and the intellect thinks thoughts the book apart from answering questions of life also guides us through spiritual practices that can help us evolve and storm through the challenges of life in the process also realizing our noble best it takes us through the practice of japa which is the repetition the meditative repetition of the name of the divine and not just that a step by step guide to meditation now there is so much more in the book that can be spoken about and shared but i would leave you to go through it and find for yourself the answers that you hold very very sacredly but right now i would like to take you through a couple of passages which has stayed with me which inspired me ever since i read the book what we regularly encourage and consistently cultivate in our mind determines our character and ultimately our destiny evidently an intelligent choice of thought can transform the character pattern in us the entire destiny of our life then lies in our own hands an intelligent man alone is given this freedom for rebuilding his future a true seeker is one who is constantly asserting day by day hour by hour and he alone has this privilege of ordering his future lifestyle while this spoke of how the mind and the thoughts have the power to shape our future and our destiny what i'm about to read next is about silencing quieting the mind for meditation here it goes halt the mind in the thick of life in the work day world we are ever called upon to face problems and in these days of acute competition every moment raises a new challenge to be solved by us a smart young man has to pour out his best at all times in order to build up his lifestyle and later on he has to maintain the very lifestyle that has been raised by him both these need constant vigilance and meaningful self application it all means heavy expenditure of his mental resources and a steady drain upon his intellectual stamina 
This can be exhausting and weakening unless he regularly replenishes the brain drain and replaces the mental wastage. Hence, Gurudev says, halt the mind and this will replenish our mind in order to function better in the world. So, here starts our journey to self-unfoldment. Just like Gurudev has beautifully covered deep teachings, the wisdom of Vedanta through this book, which is covering a wide range of topics and concepts that has to do with our life and the world, I would here appeal to all of you to go pick up your copy of the book Self-Unfoldment written by Swami Chinmayananda ji. Uh, read for yourself and understand the deeper imports of this book and grow together. Let us all un blossom like a flower through this journey of self-unfoldment. Thank you. Mm -hmm.